z to the 6 by de Moivre's theorem, how can I write that? R to the 6 cos, cos 6 theta plus, plus i sine, sine six, theta. 6 theta. Okay, now what's negative 64 in mod arg form? Remember, modulus is just a distance, 60. right? So I would usually say that in positive terms, 64. What angle do I measure if I'm at minus 64? I've got to go from the positive real axis all the way over to minus 64. So that's pi radians. Okay? So I've got this cos pi plus pi sine pi. You okay with that? There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. From this, I can read off the modulus, right? What's the modulus equal to? What's the power of 6 equals 64? It's just 2. Okay? So therefore, now, equating real and imaginary parts, right? I can say cos of 6 theta equals 2. Pi. Pi. Two k pi plus pi. But the first line. Oh, plus pi? Yeah. Plus pi? Is that just going to work out? Yeah, you got to solve it the two k theta after. Okay. Now remember, I, I have to write the other one as well. Sine six theta equals sine pi. But I know based on what happened over here, right? This is going to give me too many solutions. It's going to give me too many. So I can kind of ignore him. Really, the business end is happening over here. Okay. Now, remember, the first solution is where these two angles are just the same angle, right? So I can just say 6 theta equals pi, but that's not the only solution. That's not the only solution, because what's the period of cosine? Two pi. It's 2 pi, right? Yeah. So I can add 2 pi, I can add 4 pi, and 6 pi, so I'll say 2k pi, where k is any integer value. Oh, yeah. Right, because I can go the other way as well. I can go the other way. You okay with that? <laughs> okay, so now I just have to divide through. I just want theta after all. So I can say theta equals, what have I got on my right hand side? Pi on 6 plus. I've got 2k pi on 6, which is k pi on 3. Okay, that was a lot quicker because we didn't have to talk through the mechanics of why it worked. Okay, so you can see now I've got my modulus. I've got every different argument that I want, okay? So let's go through them, right? When k equals 0, I always start with 0 because that's the easiest one to work out. I'm going to get a solution, z1, right? Let's quickly give it a go. I've got a 2. One question. Um, yes? Do we have, do you like either has to do cos or sines or not? Like, you did sine, but you haven't solved it, so do we need to do that? <coughs> Excuse me. No. And the reason why is because of what happened over here, right? It's going to give you too many solutions. Yeah. It's going to give you some solutions that you must reject on the basis of cosine. So you just okay. pick the dom, the always five 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 Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Julie, you always write out the sine six. This part, not, not really. That's all you need, really. It will give you the same set of solutions anyhow. And when you add plus 2k pi, you'll get all of the answers. Okay, okay now I'm doing it in modern art form. So what's my first angle? Cos of, now k is 0. So this part disappears, so I just get pi on 6. Okay, so everything started in rectangular form, right? So I better get this back in rectangular form as well. Cos pi on 6 is root 3 on 2. Plus sine pi on 6 is just a half. You multiply your factor of 2 through, and you get this guy. Okay? Now, <coughs> where is this guy? What is this guy? Um, I'm going to go over here. We don't need this. Particular. Root 3 plus i. He's two units from the origin, right? And he's pi on 6 radians up. Okay? Now, can you see why that has to be? Let's just quickly, quickly draw him. Okay? So, where is root 3 plus i? Root 3 plus i is going to be somewhere about there. Whoops, that's Z1. Okay? Now, think about what happens when I take this guy and I raise him to the power of 6. Think about what happens, right? Firstly, let's think about the moduli. Um, the modulus at the moment is 2, right? So when I do it 6 times, it'll go 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. That'll take me out really, really far. What about the angle? What will happen to the angle? It'll be pi on 6, and I just keep adding it, right? I keep adding it. So I go 1, 2, 3 will get me to pi on 2, 4, 5, 6 gets me onto the negative real axis, which is where I better be, right? That's where minus 64 is, just a lot further away. Oh, so is 
it's see what's happening? The whole revolution because it's only till it's only, yeah, that's right. That's where it wants to get to. It wants to get to this argument. Okay, it doesn't need to go all the way around. Um, let's try the next value. K equals two. That'll give me sorry, k equals one. That'll give me a new complex root, right? Z2. Alright, this one's a bit trickier. I've got my modulus at the front. Cos of, okay, pi on 6 plus pi on 3. Pi on 6, three. pi on 3. Pi. That's 3 pi on 6, which is pi on 2. Pi on two. <laughs> yep, okay. Cos pi on 2, of course, is? Cos pi on 2, of course, is 0. Plus sine pi on 2, sine pi on 2 is just 1. Okay, oops, um. sorry. I'm multiplying already, right? So that's 2i. Huh. 2i. Where's 2i? 2i is the same distance from the origin as z1. There's my z2. 2i. Why did it skip? Why does this work? Yes, good question. We'll come to that in a second. Z2, like I just put in k equals 1, right? And that's where it landed. Do you see why it works? What's going to happen when I do it six times? What will happen to the angle? It will go first time, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sixth, I'm on the negative real axis, and of course the modulus does its thing and becomes 64 away from the origin. Does that make sense? Okay, let's try the next value. How about negative real axis? Say that again? How about negative one? Could you try that later? <coughs> we'll, we'll get to it. I'll, I'll show you why I, I will choose to go to a negative at a certain point. Okay? So, k equals 2, z3 equals, there's my modulus. Cos of, okay guys, help me out. Plus pi on 6 pi plus pi 2 pi on 3, that's 5 pi on 6, right? Okay, maybe you need to re calculate up for this one. And then yes, 150, so where are you? Minus root 3 on 2. Plus sine 5 pi on 6, that's the same as sine pi on 6 because oh, it's not yeah. right? Which is a half. Okay, what's this complex number? Minus, Minus root 3 plus i, where is that? Well, that's up to this guy, yeah. right? Over there, there's z3. Uh, Minus root 3 plus i, in fact, he's, our, he's the reflection across the imaginary axis. Okay, now at this point, i stop increasing k. I'm gonna go around to the other side and try negatives. How do I know to try negatives now? Pi yes. Three, good. Um, yes. Yes. You, yes. You end up with like a non-principal argument. Very good. So you can see what's happening to the arguments each time, right? Pi on six, and then pi on two, and then five pi on six. You can see, like even on the diagram, when I add the next one, I'm going to go past where I'm pi. I should be at negative pi, right? So instead of going anti-clockwise, I'm now going to come around the other side and do all of the negative cases. Okay. I'll save you a bit of time. You're going to get this shape. It's not unity. Oh, it's, not unity. Sorry. Sorry. it's something else special, which, which I'm going to deal with in, in detail later. Okay. So I've got, I've got Z4 over here, Z5 over here, and Z6. Okay? Um, you can go through, you can crunch, crunch the different values of K. You'll get K equals negative 1 here, K equals negative 2, K equals negative 3. That'll give you those answers. They'll have the same arguments, but in reverse. So, what do we gather from this? How would you describe, in the same way that we described them before, what binds all of these solutions together? Um, they're all two units away from the origin, right? Which means they all sit on a circle of radius two, right? And they are still evenly spaced out. Okay? Now, quick question, I got asked, how come I skipped something, right? How come I skipped an angle that seems like it might be here? Right? Uh, I'm guessing if this is pi on 6 and it's pi on 2, this would be pi on 3. Right? Pi on 3? What would happen if I tried pi on 3? Remember, I'm going to do it 6 times. Right? So if I went pi on 3 here, okay, pi on 3, once you multiply it 6 times, is 2 pi. Right? So in fact, you're not going to end up on the <coughs> negative real axis, which is what you really want. You're actually going to spin back around to the positive real axis, which is, um, that's no good. Right? And just going through the cases for the values of k will tell you what the right arguments are. Okay, okay. any questions on that? 
Uh, this process, it's going to work exactly the same, regardless of what number you're working out the complex roots of. Okay? So for instance, you could just as easily work out this. Oh, I don't know. One plus. There you go. Okay. So you've got this number. Uh, well, it's almost, it's the opposite one over there. Okay. You can work out its fifth root. It's going to be five times closer to the origin, and its egg will be five times smaller and all of the extra ones that you're going to get once you take the different values of k. Okay. 